This is the 2019 Keystone Hideout LHS. This travel trailer is simple, affordable, and this bottle is designed for a couple. This LHS series is simple. It's a travel trailer single axle, weighs only about 3,720 pounds, which is not bad for a single axle. Um, outdoor speakers. Now it has a manual awning system, which I'll show you later. Stabilizer jacks, which is pretty darn incredible. <clears throat> Of course, spare tire, all the good stuff, extended rain spouts, uh, six gallon water heater, 30 amp power cord. Now this particular model actually has a pop out. It has a slide, which is super cool. Uh, push the button, really easy to handle. Um, this particular model is actually what they call a stick and tin wood construction aluminum siding very very simple kind of built like a house um, pros and cons with every camper whatever construction you get into um, five gallon propane bottle uh, enough spots for two batteries on the rack um, now typically when you get to these entry level models you're going to see stabilizer jacks only on the rear this particular model actually has them on the front as well which those are designed to keep everything from shaking and rocking while you're in the unit itself so very nice now taking a look inside uh, this particular model actually has a walk around queen which is pretty darn cool um, basically you can um, get on the bed off the bed uh, on both sides so it makes it very easy to get in and out of the bed uh, LED lights throughout the whole unit makes it easier uh, less uh, more efficient on battery power now this particular model actually has a pop out like I was saying earlier which is pretty cool makes your dinette a little bit bigger especially on this model and it makes your floor space just huge lots of room um, you could do almost everything in here. Pretty cool. All linoleum floor. It's got that wood look to it, which is awesome. Um, what is really cool about this slide, back to the slide, um, typically they'll put buttons to push out the slide right by the door. It'd be like in this area here, right around in here. Now, what I like about Keystone is they actually put it behind this door. That's where your control panel is. And the reason being is because, well in my opinion, is if this door was shut and you try to put, put, uh, take the slide in, it's obviously gonna have interference with this door and can very well knock it off the, uh, the whole frame and everything and possibly tweak the slide. But you actually have to pull the door shut and then you can actually access the control panel which is just a push of the button right here. Pretty darn cool. And we're gonna bring it in all the way so I can show you the, the full aspect of it. And see, this is how it looks when you're traveling. You still get a lot of room to get in and out. Um, you can still access the bathroom, which is cool. Um, the door opens fully, which is awesome. So very cool there. So still very functional with the slide shut. And you'll notice on a lot of units that you won't be able to access stuff when the slide shut, especially on longer units. So this is very, very cool. Now another cool feature on this uh, single axle 21 and a half foot overall travel trailer is the refrigerator, the ice box. 
It's actually got a two-door icebox, which is awesome. Very, very cool. Um, typically, you'll have just the smaller icebox on something this size. It'll be just the bottom half, pretty much. So very cool, lots of room, lots of storage for food when you're going on those long trips. So very cool. I like how Keystone did this. Um, when you get out of the slide options, um, you lose that big fridge. So you got to have the pop out to get the big fridge. So very cool. Kitchen is pretty standard. Um, you got a stereo there, two burner stove microwave um high-rise faucet so you get dishes in there and just so you know real typical nothing too fancy nothing too extravagant um just just simple i mean it's an entry-level travel trailer in my opinion so not bad and also cool feature and in most of all your travel trailers are going to have this is your air conditioning this actually has a 13.5 um ac unit in it so that's plenty to cool this unit down um, in my opinion during the hot summer uh seasons um you know new mexico arizona you should be just fine around 90 degrees um that's what i've tested them at um although you know hunter you might be struggling but super easy super cool it's got air conditioning um of course with air conditioning you're gonna want heat this also has a furnace, which is really simple, really easy. Um, and it just, everything is operated with the thermostat. So very cool, just like a house. Um, uh, off is all the way, uh, this is a little different, but, and then you just slide it over the warmer and that, that ace, it, the furnace actually kicked on. So very, very cool. Turn that off. Kind of jumping around a little bit the control panel um you got your water pump here very simple very easy to pump water from your water tank to your faucet shower uh, sink in the bathroom water heater this will start to heat up your water um, basically of course have water in there first um, and then this is pretty cool you got your battery full of course we're plugged in Fresh water is empty, black is empty, and gray is empty. Now for everyone who doesn't know, your gray is your leftover sink water, shower water, black is your toilet, your wastewater. Fresh obviously is your fresh water tank. And it has your little deals here for empty all the way to full. This is your DSI, your water heater. That all should shut off when it is uh, warmed up, hot, ready to use for a hot shower. Now on to the bathroom, um, typically when you get to this size, uh, your bathrooms are really small. This actually is not bad. It has a nice size toilet, plenty of room. Uh, the shower is actually pretty nice and roomy. Um, I actually like these tubs, some folks don't. Um, the reason why I like them is because they don't splash as much. Um, but look at the sink. Just incredible. All the room you get. Um, they also give you a mirror, which is nice, which is also a medicine cabinet. Uh, 110 outlet there when you're plugged in. And of course, some uh, some storage on the bottom there. A little dark. So, you got a little bit of storage, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, your bathroom's pretty typical. Uh, one of the most important things, in my opinion, is an exhaust fan. I mean, I think it is just critical to have an exhaust fan. Um, getting the, the humidity out, you know, you don't get mold, mildew, anything like that. So very important. Now I want to touch real quick on this awning. Um, it's not a power awning, but it's actually a manual awning. But it's, your notch, it's not your conventional awning where you have the the brackets and the latches and you know you got to hold the string and it's it's almost a hassle if if, if you're not really good at it um, this is pretty cool because all you do is you hook this deal onto there you actually just start turning it you turn it I'm doing this with one hand so it's a little harder but I mean again you could do it with one hand I mean pretty darn awesome so 
and that's how you take it out. I mean, that was only a few turns and the thing is almost all the way, you know, halfway out. So pretty darn cool. And that is the 2019 Keystone Hideout LHS. Let me know if you have any questions. Like, share, subscribe.